Good day guys, I'm Wazza Lang and welcome to my EMB install guide for 2019. So this video is aimed at people that maybe have never tried to install an EMB before and aren't quite sure how to go about it. Or maybe um, you have tried to uh, install one and had no luck with it. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, so we'll just go through it step by step and hopefully we'll have you swapping out EMBs in no time. So let's get straight into it. So first up we need to uh, download and install the EMB binaries or EMB series if you like. So we need to go to uh, this page here, uh, embdev.com. Uh, this is basically the home page. Um, I will leave a link in the description below uh, for this page as well so you can get to it easily. And what we need to do is to click on News down in the bottom left here. And then over on the left hand side, uh, click on Download. And now we've come into the ENB Series section. So we need to scroll down to near the bottom of the page. We're looking for um, Skyrim SE. So Test Skyrim SE. About five from the bottom, so click on that, and that will bring up the uh, last few uh, EMB versions. So we're actually currently at version 0 0.376, so there's quite recently been an update. I actually do need to update to this version. So um, the latest version is always on the top, so click on that, and then you just need to cycle down to the bottom of the page and you'll see this download here so click on the arrow and the EMB series will start downloading and that has finished alright so just for ease of use I'm just going to drag that to my desktop and we can um, shrink that one back down okay so uh, now we need to know where um, Skyrim SE is actually installed um, I'm assuming if you guys have done any sort of modding whatsoever, then you are going to know that location. Um, for me, um, I have this Steam download, and my Steam address is in the S drive. Um, where are we? So we've got Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition, and there it is there, that's the game install. Um, now the way that you'll know if you're in the right place is if you see these two here SkyrimSE.exe that's actually the um, game executable and SkyrimSELauncher.exe as the name suggests that's the Skyrim SE Launcher so if you see those two then you know you're in the right place and that's where we need to be um, a good tip too we'll just go back one you can just right click um, on the Skyrim Special Edition and whereabouts is it? Uh, pin to quick access uh, because if you do a lot of modding or you're planning on doing a lot of modding then you're going to be wanting to go to that section quite a lot um, so it's really handy to have it up here in the quick access and as you can see I've got Skyrim Special Edition there bang go straight to it alright so leave that open um, now we can just open up the um, zip file that we downloaded the uh, EMB series We'll just drag that over there. Alright, so all we need to do is open up the first folder which is uh, called wrapper version. Double click that. Now we only need two files, the two uh, .dll files. So it's the uh, second and third one down. D3, D11, .dll and also D3, D, compiler, 46E, .dll. So highlight both those and just simply drag them across, bang, and drop them straight in. Alright, we can close that down. Um, the EMB series is now installed. It is really that easy. And we'll actually just leave this open. We'll just shrink it down for now. So next we um, probably have the hardest part of this whole process and that is deciding on an EMB. Um, I'm actually 
thinking about using uh, Rudy AMB for my next playthrough video. So what we'll do is actually use that as an example and um, download and install that one. So to the Nexus and we've got uh, Rudy AMB up here and you'll see um, this one's got um, presets for pretty much all of the weather mods and also all of the lighting mods so no matter what your setup um, Rudy's probably got a um, version for you. Alright so click on files um, I currently have a NAT installed which is down here now you notice it does say um, Rudy EMB SE for NAT and EMB binaries 0 0.372 um, that's uh, quite an old um, series um, so you can actually use the latest series and I'll suggest you do that each and every time just always keep your EMB binaries um, updated um, worst case there'll be a few new features in the EMB binaries that the uh, EMB preset you're downloading mightn't be able to take advantage of um, but there shouldn't be any negative effects um, or none that I've found so far so yeah if you just always use the latest EMB binaries um, for whichever EMB you're going to download you should be fine alright so manual download so we just click on that Uh, small file shouldn't take long. There it is there, so we'll just drag that to the desktop as well, and we can get rid of that. Alright, so we left our folder open where we have our Skyrim SE installed, uh, just for ease of use. So we just have to open up the Rudy zip file we just downloaded. Double click the first folder. Um, it just says NAT version, which is what I want. Um, obviously, you'll probably have a different weather mod, so your version will be most likely different. But open up that. And then we've got another folder, and it's called Skyrim SE folder. Um, now, that doesn't fit into our um, install here anyway, so you need to open up that one as well. And this is what you want here. Uh, we've got a folder called EMB series. Plus we've got two INI files, uh, EMB local and EMB series. They're the ones we need. So highlight all three of those and then simply drag them in. And there we have it. So we've got the EMB series folder. We've got our D3D11 DOL and also the D3D compiler 46E DOL. And then we've got the EMB local uh, INI file and also the EMB series INI file and believe it or not that is it so we have um, the EMB series installed and we also now have Rudy EMB installed and ready to go so what we'll do now is just quickly fire up Skyrim SE and uh, make sure that everything installed and loaded properly and is working. And what you might notice too is the uh, load time for um, initially firing up the game uh, may take a little bit longer. Uh, that's simply because it's um, got a few extra things to load up now, um, particularly the shaders uh, for the EMB series, but definitely well worth the wait. And we'll also get a um, ENB message, uh, hopefully, in the top left corner very shortly, uh, which will be a really good indication that we um, have the EMB series loaded and installed properly as well. If you don't see that, then uh, something's wrong. Okay, so you just see on the left there, EMB series 0 0.376 for test Skyrim SE. So if you've got that message, then it means everything is perfect. And yes, I do have my game on an SSD, but I do also have over 300 mods at the moment, so it does take a little while to get going. Alright, 
Well, I can tell the EMBs are already working just simply because of the depth of field right there. Uh, that's a little more than you'd normally get with a vanilla. So yeah, it looks like Rudy's working fine. Um, but a good way to test is to um, actually see if you can jump into the menu. Um, now most EMBs, um, all you have to do is hit shift enter together and that will open up the whole menu. Um, some EMBs actually use the end key I do believe. Um, you just need to read on the actual EMB's uh, mod page um, to find out um, what keys do what, but usually shift and enter. And there it is there. So um, Rudy is definitely installed. And you can just quickly click this one here in uh, global use effect to uh, turn it on and off. And we won't go through any of the other settings because that is a whole another area altogether. Um, but that is how you install an EMB. And I must say, Rudy EMB is looking mighty fine. I love how the water looks. It's gorgeous. Alright, getting carried away here. So there's just one final step and that is how to uninstall an EMB. And you really do need to do this um, entire process I'm about to show you um, before you try out another EMB. Um, so you want to just get rid of all the EMB files completely and then quickly start over because it's a pretty short process anyway. Um, and that way you'll get a really good clean install for your next EMB and you won't have any issues with um, maybe like files that have been left behind. Alright, so we need to go back into our Skyrim SC, um install folder, which is here because we've saved it in the quick access. And we need to basically delete all the EMB files that we have actually just installed. So we've got our EMB cache. Um, you may remember we didn't actually install that folder, but once you run the game, um, the EMB will actually create that folder. So we um, only installed five files, but when you delete everything and remove the EMB, you'll be getting rid of six. So we've got EMB cache, EMB series, d3dl.dol and also the d3d compiler 46e.dol and then down here we have the emb local.ini and the emb series.ini so six files uh, folders slash files so just right click delete bang gone so that has completely uninstalled rudy emb and also the emb series and now you can just download a new EMB, um, put these EMB series files back in, just those two there, and then the folders slash files that come with your new EMB, and away you go again. Okay, that's it guys, nice and simple. Uh, hopefully you don't have any trouble with that, um, and I do hope that video helped you out somehow. So if you like the video, please leave a like. Um, also subscribe for more content just like this and thank you guys for your support it means a lot to me and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers